Even though the presidential race will likely come to Kamala Harris or Donald Trump, there are actually six candidates on the ballot. CBS 70's Amalia Roy is live at the consistent fair where the Libertarian nominee Chase Oliver is making his final push. What's he telling you? Liz Russ, we're seeing a ton of people pass by here in the education building. You can see that people, some have already voted, but others have stopped by Chase Oliver's booth to see what the Libertarian Party has to offer. Make sure you know all the choices in your ballot. I'm running for president of the United States with the Libertarian Party. Third party candidate Chase Oliver knows his campaign is an uphill battle, but the Libertarian presidential nominee says he's committed to the fight. It is a bit of a challenge to break through the two party static, but we keep it up like the little engine that could. We're pushing through with positivity and we're getting through to a lot of voters. North Carolina has proven a key swing state this election. And with nearly a million people expected to visit the state fair this year, Oliver wants to make his presence known. Love to earn your vote. Some people we spoke with Friday say they didn't know much about the four third party candidates on the ballot and they're skeptical of their chances. The chances of a third party candidate getting elected are like that. And I don't want to take votes away from the candidates that I'm supporting. Others who haven't voted yet say they're keeping an open mind. It feels like there's a lot on the line this time, um, but also I want to put my vote where it's going to say something. Um, so I, I some 50-50 on staying with two party versus third party this election. Whether Democrat, Republican, or third party, we are in the final push here, and there are still millions of voters here in North Carolina who have yet to cast their ballots. Live in Raleigh, Amalia Roy, CBS 17 News. They're really very animated in two. Right. In there as well. Uh, so they are very much into pitching whatever they're pitching to get people to vote like they want to vote. That's for sure. Amalia, thanks so much.